important not only to know your inner abundance, but also to be able to manifest that outwardly. So both should happen. Both, both are important. And I want to be clear about that because I know that sometimes on in certain spiritual circles, not all, obviously, but in some, um, material abundance, material wealth is frowned upon and seen as problematic. But I don't believe at all that that's true. Uh, I just think that it's important to put things in the right order, to recognize what the true source of abundance is, but then also to uh, manifest that outwardly. Because it should we should have knowledge of ourselves through and through. You know, there's it's not that I am exclusively the unmanifest pure consciousness. I am that and I am the totality, which includes all of the appearance, all of the material, all of the form. So uh I should have and you should have complete self-mastery, which means that we should be able to express authentically in the manifest. And that means being able to express our authentic abundance in our own unique way. And so that's very important. And that's the the main thing that in the remaining time for today that I want to emphasize is that it's very important to manifest your uh, truthful expression of abundance in your unique, authentic way. And this is a place in a way that many people get tripped up because they're looking to some kind of external standard and thinking that that external standard is a way that they can measure their own success. What I mean by that is that people look and they say, well, other, you know, that person over there has a million dollars and uh, that they seem to be uh, expressing abundance. And so therefore I should also have a million dollars and only when I have a million dollars can I know that I am abundant. But the uh, problem with that, apart from put, putting the cart before the horse, is that uh, it's very important to recognize that you are unique. And so y- your fundamental nature is abundance, but the way in which that abundance expresses authentically through you, for you, and as you is unique. And so you cannot look out there for any kind of standard to dictate to you what your expression of abundance should look like. Uh, So as I've, as I've said before, and I'll say it, I'll repeat it again. Now you, it is possible to use the principles that I'll talk about. um, Probably not a lot of them today that would, this would apply to, but certainly in the coming weeks. Uh, in order to manifest uh, outward expressions that might appear to be abundance, like specifically, if you want to manifest a bunch of money, you can use certain principles to do that. But if it's not authentically you, then the problem with that is that it, it won't really work. You know, then you'll still be trying to fill that bottomless pit of insecurity within with outer manifest expressions that won't ever actually work. And so you don't actually solve the problem. You still feel that you lack no matter how much you manifest on the outside. So you can use certain principles like you you can use the, uh, the law of attention, which is that whatever you put your attention on, that's where the energy goes. You can use that that understanding in order to manifest money specifically. Okay, you can do that if that's really what you want to do. Um, however, and I won't go into a lot of detail on that today, but I, I will in subsequent weeks. But the, I just want to be clear that the, as I've already said, but the problem with that is that if even if you succeed in that, you put your attention consistently on. I have, I have, you know, I have a hundred million dollars. 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 You're visualizing that. You know, you're I, um, all channels are clear so that millions of dollars flow to me. Um, you you do all that work, you release the limiting beliefs, you can do all of that and you could manifest the $100 million. You might experience temporary uh, euphoria from that. But if it's not actually the authentic, truthful expression of abundance that is unique to you, it won't be ultimately satisfying. And so you'll still be in the same place that you were before you started. So I don't recommend that you waste your time on that. What I do recommend 
and which is what I'm going to use the remaining time of this meeting for, is that you focus on uh, expressing that true abundance. And so I'm going to just briefly talk about what that what that means, and then uh, guide, and then talk you through a simple process that you can, or practice that you can use uh, in order to help yourself with that. So hopefully you've had this glimpse, this recognition uh, of the truth of abundance within yourself. Okay, so that abundance is limitless, boundless, infinite. Hopefully you could agree that that is the nature of abundance and that you can perceive that within yourself as your true nature, as being, as existence, as consciousness. And so from that, uh, it's, it's that, that abundance can express in infinitely many ways. But there's one particular way. So we can see that it, it is expressing in many ways. But there's one particular way that is unique and true for you. And you can know what that is because you, it is uh, meaningful, purposeful, and joyful for you. So, so in other words, it means being yourself. Now, a lot of people have been trained to think that money is the only is is the only uh they think that money and and abundance or money and wealth are equivalents and it's not actually true because there it's possible to be a millionaire and be impoverished because the money is not the equivalent of abundance or wealth it's one possible expression of abundance and wealth, um, but it's also possible to have to to manifest money without it being an expression of true abundance and wealth. So that fixation that many people have on money ends up being problematic because if you think about what just think about what you have done for money, and whether what those things that you have done for money when you're doing them for money are those uh, actually expressions of true abundance. Right. Do you feel, so a, a true abundance should be experienced as uh, freedom, joy, happiness. So you think about many of those things that you have done uh, for money, are they expressions of that freedom, joy, and happiness? And obviously, many of them are not, which should demonstrate pretty clearly that. Uh, chasing after money is not an intelligent way to try to express abundance. But it's the thing that most people are doing because that's what most people have been taught is that money is abundance and you should chase after money, think about money, focus on money. So again, you can use some, some of these principles that I'll be sharing in coming weeks in order to focus on money and manifest money. But if you do so, uh, you will be shortchanging yourself. So I very strongly recommend that you focus on your true abundance, which is you. And you are you through and through. So we've already, I've guided you to have a direct experience, or at least hopefully, perhaps a glimpse of yourself as in your, your boundless nature, so that you can have that glimpse and realize that I am infinite, I am boundless, I am free, I am pure potential. Uh, and so that is you in one of your, uh, in one aspect of yourself. And you can experience your uh, abundant nature expressed in that way, which is formless. But you are also the individual, individuated self expressing in this world. That's also true. You are also the you of experience. And so, and there's, it, there's not a disconnect there. It's, it, there's a through line from the formless into form. There's a complete through line there. And 
but you are the, that totality. You're not just one extreme, one end of the pole. You're the totality. You're all of it. And so it's important that you can know, experience, and express that abundance at all levels, including at the manifest level, including at your individuated uh, self-expression, which is what I'm getting to when I say that you uh, have a unique expression of abundance. And so you are also here to know and express that. Now, uh, as I say, most people, they, at that level, they just focus on the money. And it's ultimately dissatisfying. So have the courage to do something different. Have the courage, even though, and, and this applies even if you're thinking, how am I going to pay my rent next month? Right? Even if you're thinking, how am I going to pay for food tomorrow? Just see that you, if even if that's the case, you've been playing this game of chasing after money and it hasn't been working. So have courage to start to see things more clearly and to start by uh, truly valuing yourself. You, you are valuable. And I'm not saying this to puff up your ego or anything like that. It's really, that's not, that's not at all the point, but it's rather, it should be very humbling to recognize that, uh, that as a unique expression, I am a child of the divine. I am a, I have been uh, created as an expression of that, um, of, of the divine, of, of a supreme intelligence. And so my life is important. My life is a gift. My life is to be cherished. My life is to be honored. And that means that I should honor being the unique self that I am, not uh, trying to be somebody else, which is what the world usually teaches us, right? Just be somebody else. How to be successful will be like others. <laughs> But in that, that's not to honor yourself. You have been made as a unique self with unique gifts, with unique challenges, with a unique voice, with unique contributions, with unique desires, with unique joy. And that's what you are meant to be. 